Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, good afternoon, folks. And welcome to the next episode of Educating the Educators. Glad to have you here. And we're going to talk about something that is really, really near and dear to my heart. And I'm sure you're. It's a scintillating topic. And we're going to talk about the A word. Annuities. <coughs> Not so bad. We're going to make this fun. Okay, but before we get started telling you about what's an annuity, and I even have to read this stuff, the types of annuity, monthly income, the annual payout rights, the purchasing, the, the right... That's going to really be boring, okay? So I'm going to stop. And by the way, the last episode, someone said, what is this stuff? Okay. So real quickly, hourglass. People say I talk too much. My interns got me this, okay? Eight ball. This is how I make a lot of decisions in life, okay? Because sometimes you just don't know and you need a little help. The eight ball, okay? And this is very important too, a little prop, because it reminds me and it should remind you. This is the stock market. Up and down, up and down. Greed, fear, people sell, people buy at the wrong time. This sets up our conversation today of annuities. Annuities are insurance. People buy annuities because they don't want the volatility of the market. They want safety, security, and that's what insurance companies and products do. Now, TIA. Who knows what TIA stands for? How about CREF? You know what that stands for? No one really knows. Well, we're going to define it here. You're going to learn something. TIA is Teachers, you guys, Insurance Annuity Association. Okay. That started a long, long time ago. And CREF was the first variable annuity, College Retirement Equity Fund. Teachers, Insurance, Annuity Association, College Term Equity Fund. So, point is that whether you know it or not, you have annuities. You've had annuities for many years. If you're a tenured faculty and you've been in the, you're, you're seven years old and you've had an annuity since you started. So, hello, you've got an annuity. So, with annuities, there are two kinds, basically, when you're going to take the money out. And we're going to talk about this as a retirement vehicle, meaning when you get to retirement, you need an income stream. How are you going to generate that income stream? Okay you could buy an annuity. You're going to have an annuity and they say, should they take an annuity and what kind of annuity is available to them? Okay, so they can take a fixed period annuity or they can take a lifetime annuity. Let's go over the difference. Fixed period would be 5, 10, 15 years. So you tell the insurance company, okay, and what they did, they wanted a lifetime annuity. But I had to explain what the fixed is. The fixed is for 5, 10, 15 years. So the insurance company, or TIA, would pay you for five years guaranteed, and that would be it. Obviously, five years versus 15 years, you're going to get a higher payout with the five years. Okay. Now, the other one, which is the with life annuity, okay, that's for life. It's going to pay you for as long as you live. Okay. So those are the basic kinds. There's a lot of variations because you can put insurance on there. So if you have life, you could say, gee, for example, client said that, they were 70, okay, and they had $500,000, okay. They wanted to have a lifetime income, okay, uh, but they wanted insurance. So what they did is they had a single life on their, on their single, on their own life for 10 years, a lifetime with 10 years, meaning that the insurance company is on the hook. TIA must pay you for at least 10 years. So if you died after five years, you're covered for 10 years. So you have the insurance for 10 years. Now, she started 70, now you're, you're 80. Okay, that's the 10 years. But you live to 120. They're going to pay you for your life. So you beat the insurance company the longer you live. Okay, so it pays to stay healthy and wealthy and wise. So I don't know if you follow that. But yeah, another example. So that's the fixed annuity. Okay, remember, just to recap, there's period certains. Okay, like a 5, 10, 15 year. And then there's lifetime annuities. Okay. Now, we will cover something called a fixed index annuity. Client says they're, they're newer vehicles. And they basically said the fixed index annuity is they want to participate in the growth of the market. Okay. So a fixed index okay, might have a cap. And it says you're going to be connected to the S&P index. So the S&P 500 does 10%. So what I told the client is, let's say 
that in the next year, the S&P 500, the stock market, goes up 15%, okay? You will not get 15% because the insurance company has to cover themselves. They're going to give you a cap of, say, 8%. So if the market does 15, you're not going to get 15, but you're going to get 8. Now, let's say the market loses 20% and you're close to retirement. That could be... That could destroy your whole retirement plan. Really, really put a crimp into it. And if you weren't having a, didn't have an annuity, then you would participate on the downside 20%. Big hit, bear market, ouch. Okay? With a fixed annuity, with the index, no downside. You can't lose money. Okay? So uh, you have upside potential with downside protection. So they've become very, very attractive nowadays. Okay? But now... People say our annuities, good, bad, ugly, whatever. They're really, they're really all of the above. It all depends on suitability. It all depends on your other assets. Should all your money be an annuity? Absolutely not. Should you use an annuity to guarantee a portion of your retirement? I don't know. I, I think it's not a bad thing to consider, but it's all within the context of your assets and what you own. Do we insure our lives? Yes. Do we insure our Ability to earn income, disability income, do we insure our cars? Is there, we put insurance on everything. Shouldn't we put insurance on our retirement? So it's definitely something you want to look at. Complex product, a lot of moving parts. I hope you've basically got a general idea. If you want more information, please give us a call, ask questions. Um, uh, but don't forget to subscribe. And it's good to see you all again. And uh, have a great day. And be safe. Thank you.